Hello YouTube, this is Candace coming at you on Sunday. Um, I don't even know what date it is today. What is today's date? The 24th, which is also my day 16. So I think that I've told all of you about what was going to happen this weekend, including a baby shower and a wedding. And the wedding is what I just came back from, so you get a little bit of a, some wedding hair today. This is the dress that I ended up wearing. It's not the dress that I told you ladies I wanted to get into. Although that dress did fit, what happened was I could not find the cardigan to go over it and it was one of those tie around the neck dresses and I just didn't want to have everything out. Plus it's really cold here so couldn't find the cardigan so this was the next best, next best thing and I'd only worn this dress one other time and this was probably like two years ago and it fits, it felt good, I felt comfortable. Did have my Spanx on, but what girl doesn't? One day I will be able to wear a dress without any artificial support, but today wasn't that day, but I am glad that I pulled this off. Got a lot of compliments on it. Um, people kept coming up telling me like, that's a great dress on you and you look so pretty and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, what girl doesn't want to hear that? So overall today was a great day. Yesterday was a great day, but let me break it down for you guys. So yesterday was the baby shower. I get to the baby shower, you know I had my plan, I was going to eat beforehand so that I wouldn't go there hungry and I was going to make sure I had my water bottle with me. I was going to be so prepared that I would not be able to cheat at all. Well, plan did not work that way. I did forgot my water bottle, I forgot my lunch that I was going to take with me to eat. I was running late because I had to go get the gifts because I was tardy and procrastinated on that. So I was rushing, 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 went and picked up my grandmother, we got there, and I just said, okay, Candace, you did not prepare like you planned to, but the goal is to get through this day without cheating. And I'm proud to report, that's exactly what happened. I had some salad with some grilled chicken inside of it, I had a couple celery sticks, and I had a few strawberries. And I ate that, and I drank like two or three bottles of water. And I was really satisfied and it was also cool because I was eating with everybody else even though, I mean, baby shower food, it's just the best. Like they have the little hors d'oeuvre stuff and it's just those like snacky stuff where you could have eaten a thousand calories and not even realize it. I will say that they did, she, my auntie had a really healthy menu so it wasn't anything there that could have been too bad except for some of the carbs. But I stayed away from it. I didn't do anything which I'm so thankful for. The sucky part, like the, the day was great, she had great gifts, there was a good turnout, um, we played some fun games and I won two prizes, I won a, um, an inf a aroma infuser thing and then I won, won a, a portable, what's it called, like a travel of the satin hands from Mary Kay, love that stuff, so I won that, and then my, they were like, okay, well let's cut the cake, and of course I'm standing by the cake because that just happened to be where I was sitting. And the cake was so cute. It had the little baby's name on it. It was this nice little turquoise blue with these little fondant circles all over it. And so my aunt just hands me the knife and was like, okay, Candace is going to cut the cake. I'm just like, why do I have to cut the cake? But she asked me to cut the cake. I cut the cake and I did it without any temptation. I will say that my auntie's niece was eating some of the cake and while she was eating it, I was staring her down like, you know how like dogs stare when they're about to just jump at your plate or begging? That's how I was staring at her. I had to like snap myself out of it like, oh, come back to reality. But the cake was like this vanilla cake with these fresh strawberry insides and like a whipped cream frosting. Oh my goodness. That was kind of, that was hard. Plus it just smelled really good. And everybody was eating it and of course she wanted me to cut really big pieces because she was trying to get rid of the sheet cake. So it was just like, oh, and then she had these like little personal size ice creams that either was like strawberry swirl or some other flavor. It was like, really? But I withstood the temptation, I'm glad to say, did not cheat. So backing up one step, when I woke up yesterday morning, I was, I lost a, a 0.4 of a pound, okay? And then this morning when I woke up, after not cheating yesterday, I lost 1.8 pounds. So I am officially over halfway to my goal. That puts me at 16 pounds in 16 days. How incredible is that? Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> Praise Jesus. It was so good to see that scale. And then when I did my calculations to see, like, I'm at 16. It's like 16.2. So I'm over halfway, you guys. Halfway to my 30-pound goal. 
So I'm really excited and I can kind of start to really tell in my face. Um, I, it takes me a while for me to be able to tell in my body, but other people are starting to notice, so that makes me feel good too. But when I see somebody that I haven't seen in like a month or two, I can't wait for them to be like, girl, you look good. So I'm going to just keep going. Today was the wedding. I got to the wedding. It was fun to get all dressed up and doll up, put your makeup on, get your hair all done, and just be trying to look extra cute. So that was fun. And then the way they had it set up, we waited like probably an hour after the ceremony before we could eat. And by that time, I was really hungry. But she had told me beforehand that she was having salad, so I had planned to just have salad. So she had a really nice spread. It was like the Caesar salad. There was some grilled chicken um, skewers, some meatballs, some grilled vegetables like asparagus and onion. Mm. Um, what a, oh, there was some a, a nice spread of cheese and crackers. So what I ended up having was the Caesar salad minus the Caesar. I had some of the grilled chicken, two of the grilled chicken skewers, and I had some of the grilled onions. And what this is okay, okay, okay. Let me be let me be honest. I did have a meatball. I did. So I guess in a way I did cheat a little bit, but there was a little sauce that was a little because I got the one that had like almost no sauce on it, and the part that did have sauce, I literally wiped it off. So I think I did pretty good. I mean, if it does budge. I'll take the hit for that because I knew I wasn't necessarily supposed to have that meatball, but it was looking so delicious. And it was like, well, it's meat. Why not? And it was a small little meatball. So listen to me justifying it, trying to like talk myself out of feeling guilty. Y'all don't judge me because I've been really, really good. And I didn't have cake either day, yesterday or today. And I think I did good. I'm not feeling bad about that. However, you know me, by tomorrow, if I gained or if I stayed the same, you know I'm going to probably be wanting to drive into the Puget Sound, but I'll get past it, and I, overall, I'm really proud of myself. So, it's still kind of early, it's about 6 o'clock, I got to go and catch up on some water drinking, because I didn't get as, not, as much as I wanted to. I tried to get, I got 32 ounces in before I left to the wedding, um, and I drank a couple glasses, but I know I'm behind. So let me go and catch up on the water. I probably will just have a piece of uh, meat and a little veggies for dinner tonight. Um, even if I have that, because I'm really, I mean, I will, because I know that's what you're supposed to do. But I'm really not hungry, and I just, I was proud because I really just ate until I was not hungry. I didn't eat till I was full, and I didn't eat everything on my plate. So that's probably the first time that's ever happened in my life. And I was proud of myself. So I had all this lettuce left. I had half a chicken skewer. Get it, girl. That, that just don't happen for me. Normally that plate is scraped clean. Like you could almost lick it and see yourself in it. So I'm overall, I'm, I'm proud of myself. And I think this weekend was a great weekend. Very successful. And I'm just going to give myself a round of applause. Because y'all can join in if you like. But I know that this week was a challenge for me. And I made it happen. And I made it through. So I, good job, Candice. High five. Good job. So tomorrow is a new week. Well, not a new week in my weight loss process. But it's Monday. So we shall see what happens. But so far, so good. I'm really happy. Oh, what I didn't tell you was I got my Omni 4. And Omni 4 is a vitamin supplement that, um, that Omni Nutrition, you can buy from Omni, Omni Nutrition. So I did take that today. I mean, it's the first day, so I don't know if it's really working necessarily, but it's not really supposed to do much. It just might give you a little bit of a boost of energy and make sure you get some more nutrients. And that could be part of the reason why I got full faster. Or not full, but felt more satisfied. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'll try to remember to report back on this at the end of the week after I've been taking it a couple days to see if I really like it or notice a difference or how that feels. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday night. I believe the Oscars are on now or starting, so I need to go catch up and fantasize about these little dresses these girls wear and that one day I'll be in them. Because one day I will be in them. And y'all will see. Um, I did take a couple pictures. I'm going to try to upload them. If they are on the YouTube, they will be on my Facebook. So I'll put my address below. Feel free to friend me. And I will talk to you guys all later. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.